Rather disappointingly, my Miele washing machine has only lasted about uh, six or seven years, actually maybe eight years now, um, before it, it failed the other day. I was actually stood next to it at the time when it was running, and then I could hear a fizzing noise, followed by a pop and a bang, and then uh, it tripped out the uh, MCB in the consumer unit and was totally dead. So anyway, I did what any self-respecting engineer would do, and that's uh, start disassembling it to find out what went went wrong. Well, the model I've got is the Miele Novatronic W1514. I think it's quite a popular model. Um, it's the one with the LCD display and the push buttons and the rotating knob for the mode settings. Um, to take it apart, um, luckily I didn't need to pull it out very far because it's very heavy, I think it actually weighs 100 kilos. Um, when you pull it far enough forward you'll be able to reach these little plastic covers, these little oval covers off the side, there's one either side, you just prise them off with a screwdriver and then there's a Torx headed screw just underneath and before you remove the screw fully you have to push the screw in to release the clip behind and that allows you to, to lift the cover upwards. You do the same on both sides, and then once the cover's lifted up, you can then slide it back. That then uh, gives you access to the, the front bezel, which then just slides upwards. And then when that's slid upwards, you've then got access to two screws, one down this side and one on this side. They're all Torx, I think they're, they're TX20s. If you undo those two and then um, there's a large one in the center at the bottom uh, under the, behind the door and then the two next to the door lock uh, you can then lift the whole of the front up and remove it oh no I'm sorry I forgot one thing you need to remove this this is the spring loaded band which goes around the door seal so the the spring is actually at the bottom and if you lift the the, the lip of the seal you can see the spring just hook it out with a screwdriver and then just peel it around and that gives you access to uh, to the front panel. Now when the front panel is, is being lifted up you may want to just flip open the little drain latch so that you can guide this out so it doesn't get snapped off the emergency door release um, and then you're left with full access to everything. Now there's a couple of clips if you want to remo remove the, the printed circuit board like I've done. Um, from the plastic housing if you just use a slotted screwdriver and carefully lever it then you should be able to remove it and once I got inside I found out what had happened so if I just get a light so the first thing I saw was this burn mark here on the chassis so if I point to it right here and then this wire had arced over uh, obviously causing the burn mark. It's obviously worn on the edge, so there's no protection on these uh, cables at all. It's pretty poor, really. Shame on you, Miele. Um, and unfortunately, that fault then resulted in one of the ICs uh, going open circuit. Well, in fact, it's blown the top off it. It's this one, if I focus, in the middle there. Uh, and I think looking on the internet, many other people have suffered the same fault and the chip I think it's a TEA uh, 1522 and uh, that clearly needs replacing. Inspecting the other components um, in particular down the back I think people took about a 120 ohm resistor, 3 watt resistor down the back here. Um, that often goes open circuit so I shall measure that as well. I mean mine looks okay but I'll measure it. Um, you've got a diode bridge here and that'd be worth a check and a couple of other components so I'll measure across them to make sure there's no shorts uh, there because I don't want to, to blow up the uh, new IC when I fit it. There's also looks like a, a fuse just down the bottom here this circular device I think is a fuse so you can get at the two pins on the back of it and just measure that it's actually still short circuit. So it looks like what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to splice the wire back together. I'll put some heat shrink sleeving over it. I'm going to put some uh, tape onto the chassis here to stop it rubbing again. Um, and I'll probably put some tape or some sleeving on the other wires uh, to make it a bit more resilient. I'll, I'll replace the IC, which shouldn't be too difficult. 
and uh, hopefully I'll be back in business otherwise I should be somewhat annoyed because I paid a premium price for this machine and uh, well I think my previous cheap machines my hot points and uh, the light outlasted this one anyway if this video helps someone else then uh, that's great uh, cheers now